Oh, I haven't uploaded anything like Christmassy stuff yet related. But I think at least this video will like help. But without getting out of the way, I'm going to be reviewing Diary of Kid Cam Fever. Now this book is the sixth book in the Diary of Kid series. As you see right here. It's mirror, but I hope you get the whole point. So Diary of Kid was created by Jeff Kenny. It's book series based off Jeff Kinney's life during his childhood and this book is basically about snowstorm but I'll get to the story a little bit later and dig deeper but with out of the way with the intro I'll begin the starting with the story basically this book is about Greg trying to find money or make money for his necklace account so his pet can be satisfied but it doesn't have the money to do that so his mom tries to do snow plow have a snow plow to get some money but basically that's not that does not work out at all next however greg tries to sell his novel so he can get some money but susan says says that if he does, his kids will be mad because it will be worth a lot of money. But in the end, it was just that Susan Heffley didn't want Greg to sell the novel because the author didn't sign the book. It was Susan who did. So basically, Greg writes an envelope on the Gibbon tree, which his church does. So, so for like the poor people, stuff like that. And Greg wants money, asks for money on the envelope and tells you to hide it under the recycling bin which play a little role in the story and the Greg actually finds out that he can do his own holiday bazaar that school does but when advertising on the wall the paint bleeds and the like bleeds onto the wall and it creates a mess and now he's in trouble but there's a snowstorm that comes up and he's stuck inside his house. With Frank gone onto a hotel or something, the family is now in trouble. In which it does get a little quiet with Greg doing some stuff for Manny. But then the electricity goes out. And then the family, except for Manny and Frank, has to try to survive without the electricity. But Greg finds out that on the circuit breaker, the electricity is off except for Manny's room and Greg finds out that Manny was the one who turned off the electricity. Yes, like a toddler, like a child who doesn't know how to like tie shoes turns off the circuit breaker. Manny the demon. And Kara Omri Susan heavily does, de does deal with Manny for a little bit. But while it's at, Greg tries to find the money under the recycling bin he snow plows to get his way to get his way for the money but there's no money so the cops do see him after he arrives to the house but they just want a toy so greg does gives a doll to the cops and that's basically the most important stuff of the story there are a little other stuff like alfredo the doll he has and also he does get like some presents including this novel that's signed by the author and there's also some just clothing and words at church but basically that is it for the story for this book now, on to the now this book the book good parts about this book is that it uses snow environment in a clever way now the other books didn't have the snow environment or they had it but not a lot like the first book it had the snow environment but it didn't really have a whole lot and it didn't impact the story a whole lot but this one did the snow plowing is a great example so greg can like try to get money for his next creditors account and the snow blizzard which traps the family inside the house is a great example of that and Greg's snow plowing, so it can be called like a hero at the end for snow plowing for the church. And it does have the classic characters 
classic Red, classic Manny, classic Roderick. It does have all its characters from like a Diary of the Kids series and their own um, respectable versions of them. And that's what I like about this book. That's why I like it. And it's really a great book overall, which I'll get to that part of the conclusion, but now with the bad parts, which make this book kind of like, kind of bring it down a bit. Like, there's only one part that brings it down, but the snow blind part, like the snow environment does make it a pretty great book, it stands out. Get to the bad parts. Overall, the only bad part about this book is that Frank Heffley is in all a lot. Like, he is a pretty bad character. He is neglectful. But I like to put some time, like, into him. And more time into him. Like, it is understandable. But at the same time, it's nice to see a character like Frank Heffley. Maybe get a little bit more time. Like, maybe, like few more pages like five or ten I don't know something like Manny even gets like some time for himself in the book and he's a bad character but you also need some time in the book same with Susan Apley and Greg and all the other characters in the book that are important to the story I mean it's unavoidable for sure, but at least do a little bit of something. Like, have a little bit more time, like I said. But that's the only bad part. And now, let's get on to the conclusion. Overall, this book is actually really solid, great book. I do like the snow environment. It does have the classic characters. While Frank Kelfley isn't in it a whole lot, I do still like this book. And for the OG6, from Diary of the Kid, from books 1 through 6, Diary of the Kid, Roger Rules, Flash Straw, Dog Days, Doug of Truth, and Cabin Fever, which is this book. Overall, i say this is an 8 out of 10 song. Great book, as I said earlier. That's how solid it is. But with that, that the video is over like subscribe comment and i'll see you next time